Uh, here to talk a little bit about medic CE tracking. Uh, I know we've had some questions about this in the past, and I know I've told you I'm going to try to come up with a spreadsheet to kind of help you guys uh, figure out which classes to take and which ones uh, you didn't have to. Um, I've got an email out to our representative from medic CE right now. She's supposed to be unlocking your guys' medic CE accounts to give you uh, freedom to go about taking the classes that you uh, need to. Uh, the first thing I want to do is show you uh, where some of this information that I've uh, created is located. Um, if we go over to the server, if you see uh, basic server uh, homepage, if you scroll down, you'll see uh, a file folder named EMS Training. If you double click on that, um, the Gold Crew um, has started their own folder inside of EMS Training. So this is where they're tracking their stuff right now. Um, there are some blank uh, tracking sheets for you to, to use. Um, if we go into the training folder, which is my folder that I created, I have two tracking sheets in here. Um, and basically what those do, uh, if I go over to the Medic CE sheet here, once I open that up, um, you'll see all the offered course names um, from Medic CE um, that they have in their course list at this time. What I've done is gone through there and highlighted each of these classes that meets a category and a subcategory and the hours that are currently being offered. If you go through this list for the ones that I have uh, currently highlighted, sorry about that, if you go through the list and take the classes that are currently highlighted, um, and you can see all these gynecological emergencies, diabetic emergencies, MCI, uh, EMS communications, if I come over to the, at the very bottom of the spreadsheet here, it will show me the legend that we have on our current tracking sheets. Everything that's listed in green has been met. Those uh, subcategories have been met through Medic CE. So basically, the things that you see in black are what are still re uh, required um, to be uh, taken. This helps me as your training officer focus on what needs to happen um, and we can gear our training towards what's needed. Obviously, the cardiovascular portion that you see here, we met a lot of that with the CCR class. I haven't checked it off yet because this uh, tracking um, legend that I'm using here was strictly for the Medic CE classes. One thing I want you to understand is that this list is provided by Medic CE. Um, I currently have a request in uh, the classes that you see that says local individual or needs content updated. Basically what happens there is that they are in the process of determining what categories and subcategories these other classes meet. So as he sends me an updated list, I will come in here and highlight those classes and I will also highlight these uh, in the legend to see if they've been satisfied. Um, it's very easy. Everybody can uh, make access to the server file and we'll be able to look at both of these uh, files in here they will be updated one thing I will ask is that they are not a protected sheet at the moment I will protect them um, but until I get that done please do not make any adjustments to the files um, you will be able to make copies of it and you can take them with you but just know that these files will be updated as I get more information from Medic CE so as it's listed now um, you should have enough hours, there's 20 hours that are listed through these classes. The ones that I have gone through and listed out. I did not put the class names over here, but this is where I took the highlights from the legend. So just me taking those classes that I highlighted on the uh, Medic CE sheet, highlighting them on the legend over here in our tracking sheet, I have earned 20 hours towards recertification and I've met most of my subcategories. I still have a few. Um, obviously we can take care of some of these uh, with other classes that we'll offer throughout the year, but this is a huge chunk of what's required of you from the state. So um, if anybody has any questions about that, um, please feel free to give me a call. Just remember um, your best bet is to stick to the highlighted classes at this point. 
and we will gear our training from the HFD um, towards what else is left to fill in the gaps. Okay. So if anybody has any questions, please give me a call in the training division. Um, I hope to have another class on this um, here in the next couple weeks, and we will answer any questions we will have at that. But I wanted to kind of uh, open this up to everybody and tell you that there is an option uh, for you to start tracking your Medix CE stuff. Um, just follow the list and follow the highlights, and you should be okay. So it, like I said, any questions, give me a call. Thank you.